Hello guys, and welcome to another episode of Humankind. So yeah, we have all the stars completed that we wanted. Let's pick a culture. I don't think I want a diplomatic culture. Yeah, no. Now let's keep the Aztecs in the back of our mind, production and war, I like that. Not the Byzantines. Now their special unit is very good, but I don't think that it will be the Franks. Again, money is good, but just money isn't that great. Alright, now this seems very interesting. Money and science from faith, also a building which gives more faith which is more money and science. Now the Khmer, their elephants are, as far as I can, remember, really overpowered. The English are also really well at making a big population, they're mediocre at war. I don't know, I don't quite like the Mississippians. Now, the Mongols are very good at a fast-paced conquest if the enemies don't have strong defenses. Not the Umayyads. Maybe the Norsemen, although no, we don't want to conquer by navy, we want to conquer by land. I just think the Teutons are the best foundation for a strong, technologically advanced military Wisdom nation. and technical innovation from earlier eras bring humankind new knowledge and we immediately use it to find new ways to kill each other off. Greater empires build more powerful armies, but brute strength may be defeated by superior innovations. It is brains versus brawn, with ever richer cities as tempting spoils for the victor. The Teutons did indeed have great cities with great cathedrals, but don't forget their great armies with great ambitions. I'll certainly not forget their great armies, as we want to partake in forming those great armies ourselves. And I'll say we're going to keep marching as we will eventually take their last city. But if we take it, I want all scouts to be horsemen at that point. Now I think that communal land is just better overall. I want to keep my money for more important things. As much as I would like to move forwards to individualism, communal land Why should is just individual better. wealth and political connections determine the status of something as timeless as the land? Alright, we got conquest, claiming our posts is cheaper. I'd rather conquer than ransack and claim again, but it's good for colonizing islands, I guess. Now let's pick a new technology. Oh yeah, the library will be very nice, one science. Her population is a lot if we get big cities. Now Babylon has finished its agriculture. Districts. Yeah, our new fancy building we got from choosing the Teutons. Let's just build it there. But man, we really need more stability in this city. So then I'll build garrisons to remove some fog and gain stability. Alright then, Eretric City has their food problem sort of under control. I think that it will become a science city. But yeah, also, we really need more stability here. Now, what do we do? I think that we should experiment with it. I can spend some money for science. Yeah, rhetoric is good because it gives us the library. And down there we continue to upgrade our last scouts into horsemen. Now here we have Rome, let's see what we can do. Alright, Rome suffers from a stability problem, like our other cities. Now let's pick a new research.
I'll take siege armies. Because the important thing is, that with it we can put one unit into an army group. And we actually sold a resource for money. Five makers quarters. It seems that someone took the phrase, building your future, a bit too literally. Well, I like production, so yes, I want to quite literally build my future. And Rome builds an aqueduct, our empire. Maybe big for the time, but also unstable. Alright, seems like the Morians still only have a single scout. And Eretric City is on its way to regain stability. Great. That means that we can build more districts. Here, I'll build more science districts. Alright, we got siege tactics. You know, I think. I'll train a unit more for our two armies now. Oh, those are our special Babylonian units. Anti-cavalry from two eras ago. But yeah, in Rome we build a Praetorian Guard and well research Imperial power for your people see borders as a place of safety and a symbol of power. Only your friends know of the extensive wine cellar. What the? Seems like another nation has already fallen to. Another aggressive nation. Seems like we aren't the only aggressive one. Well, that might lead to clashes I hear future clashes. That will hopefully win. And Babylon needs a city guard now for more stability. And after that, an animal farm for more food. So, yeah, what does Rome build now? I guess we'll build a theater then. For more influence. Alright, slaves. A bit controversial, but more. Resources are resources, so we'll pick one. Yeah, I'll take war slaves. You may treat them like loot and property, but they are still human beings. Ah, uh, don't worry. I'm gonna be very aggressive and expansionist, but also very liberal. Now let's send those horsemen back to the capital to train another unit for their army. Alright, a religious civic. Communal rights or personal rights? Yeah, I'll take personal. I suppose there are some things that are best done alone. Yeah, you need some privacy while praying, you know. Now this army is perfectly placed to move into. The city once the war starts, I'll station them. Now, I think our cavalry only army needs at least some support, so I'll give them an archer. Alright, an event. Now this is a really tough choice. I think I'll take divert. I don't want to be communal, but I can't risk my population. Yeah, I'd really rather take something else, but I think that that's the only good option. And it also makes us profit, so it isn't all bad. Your empire becomes one of the giants, astride the globe. And what will you do with this power? Well, I'm going to become even bigger. Alright then, let's make this archer join their army. Okay, Eretric City has now more science districts. But again, too low stability. Well then, let's build another garrison. And well, for technology, there is only one in the classical era left. So let's just finish foreign. Outpost. Yes, All right, greetings. seems like our population is, is already eager for war again with a 100 war We support. have exhausted peaceful solutions. I must... But we're nearing the end, so we'll probably destroy them in the next episode. Huh? What are those? These aren't their troops. Oh, those are rebels from their city which now attack us.
Man, our Praetorian guards are just so strong. Alright, that one took a larger hit, but nothing to worry about. Wow, they are really getting swarmed. But thanks to all that fighting, they now have a second veterancy star, making them even better if they survive this fight. I'd advance with the archers here and shoot with them first. Yeah, we can shoot that one right there. Meanwhile, our Praetorian Guard advances forward. We retreat that high veterancy unit just in case. But, well, I'm gonna end this episode on a very unexpected note right here. Goodbye.